going on guys i'm steve welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if it's your first time stopping by the channel hit that subscribe button trust me you won't regret it if you're a returning subscriber as always guys welcome back and i do appreciate the support guys listen today charges have officially been filed for susan lorenz everybody knows this is the woman that had the uh neighborly feud with aj uh owens out there in ocala florida I think it was June 1st or June 2nd is when she shot through the door and struck A.J. Owens and ended her life. Now, she's been locked up <clears throat> since then. Today, the state attorney of Marion County in Florida has said that they don't have enough evidence to convict her of second degree murder or charge her with second degree murder. and. That's what the family wanted. And I'm going to play this video clip. I want you to really pay attention to the end of it, of what the uh, state attorney said. And in my opinion, this whole thing is BS. I call cap on the whole thing. What he said, if you really pay attention and peel the layers back of what he said uh, justifies second degree murder. Come on, man. Come on. It, something ain't right on this. But I'm going to stop talking. We'll talk about it when I come back. Check this out. Formal charges against Susan Lorenz have been filed today for the death of an Ocala mother of four. The state attorney in Marion County says she is facing one count of manslaughter and one count of assault for shooting and killing A.J. Owens. Watch to tonight. Gabber Gettigas is live in Marion County right now where people are starting to gather for a rally. Tonight... AJ's family and their attorneys, along with groups like this one in Ocala, have called for a second degree murder charge. But the state attorney says there was just not enough evidence to prove murder. And the family says this is not justice, and people who are coming together right now outside of the courthouse are showing their solidarity. It's been nearly a month since an Ocala mother was shot and killed by her neighbor. Now, Marion County State Attorney William Glasson has decided how his office will move forward with their case against Susan Lorenz. The 58-year-old will face one count of manslaughter with a firearm and one count of assault for the death of A.J. Owens. Investigators say Lorenz shot and killed Owens through a door in early June. One of Owens' four children was there when it happened. The mother tried confronting the neighbor for allegedly throwing a skate at her child. Lorenz was arrested on charges of manslaughter with a firearm, culpable negligence, battery, and two counts of assault. But Owen's family, attorneys, and Ocala groups have pushed to upgrade the manslaughter charge to murder. In a letter on Monday, the state attorney said there just wasn't enough evidence to file murder. He said in part, the state must prove beyond reasonable doubt that the existence of a depraved mind toward the victim at the time of the killing. Depraved mind requires evidence of hatred, spite, ill will, or evil intent. And he adds aiming a firearm at the door and shooting it is legally not enough to prove any of those traits. In a video, one of Owen's attorneys, Anthony Thomas, said they are disappointed. Certainly the family would have wanted something a little more harsh in the form of a murder to charge. We are disappointed by this decision. All the evidence pointed to a murder too. At this time, the family will stay vigilant. He says after the arrest, Owen's son testified that the skate thrown by the neighbor did not hit him, which would have been necessary for a battery charge. He also says another child testified he was not in fear, which is why the second count of assault was left out. Misdemeanor culpable negligence was not filed because the state attorney said in part, there is no evidence to establish that Lorenz knew the child was with Owens when she shot her. All right, guys, those are the charges. And I got to be honest with you. I got to move my hat for this one. I was floored hearing that. She didn't get any second degree murder charge because they said it wasn't enough evidence. Now, stories like this, you know what I'm saying? They're very touchy because, you know, we in America, a lot of people put a lot of tension on race and stuff like this. But I'm going to be honest. If Susan Lawrence was black and AJ, uh, what's her name, was, was uh, white and they switched it, what you think would have happened? It's just me. I'm just being honest with you. 
This right here, scream BS. It do. It scream BS. And I'm going to tell you something. We're going to break this down. The reason why he said that it doesn't uh, constitute for second degree murder, he said it wasn't enough substantiated evidence to show depraved mind. And it said depraved mind is defined by the state as evidence of hatred, spite, ill will, or evil intent. And shooting through the door does not show any of those traits. Are we dumb or are we stupid? That's a smack in the face of every citizen, not just black citizen, every citizen in Marion County and possibly the state of Florida. It's so many problems they have down there with that stand your ground law and all this other stuff. I'm going to say this straight up. She tried that stand your ground rule. Thought she knew a little bit about the law. Probably saw something on TV similar to the situation she had and figured she'd uh, try it for her and it backfired. <clears throat> Sorry, I drank something earlier. Guys, listen. Let's go through these things. These, these things right here. Number one, hatred. To me, in a way, it's like a hate crime. Minus her being in a neo-Nazi group or anything like that. We don't exclude that. This was done with intent to hurt somebody, whether it's their feelings or them physically. Hatred. The kids were getting in the house. She was uh, bothering them. Sneak dissing and telling. Always had a problem with them being around the house. Had problems with the mother before. They had a history going back and forth. Going back. I want to say this with hatred. Said the N-word. Ominous times. White neighbors even said it. Yeah, she's saying it like it's nothing out there. To them kids. That ain't hatred. If that's, if that's not hatred, then... What what is the find as a hate crime? I mean, I can't even believe we're going over this. Really, guys, I mean, I, I can't believe we're going over this. This case had nothing to do with hatred. She didn't hate her. Now, I want you to you feel me on this. Spite. There was no evidence of spite. You sneak this and then telling. Every time they do something, you call and complain. You made the fake 911 call. Out of spite. Is anybody else seeing this? I mean, I mean like, I, maybe it's me. Is, leave me comments, guys. Is any of y'all seeing this? Man, they be trying to hide behind these laws and throw this, these words out here and make it like, oh, well, this is this. Now, he can't be questioned because he said that and then he even ran off in the sunset, leaving a bunch of people protest outside his door. They bend the words and they use these laws to twist and turn and get themselves in and out the way they ain't got to explain nothing else to people. That's BS. A woman is dead. A mother of four is gone. And it's not her fault. What would you do? Somebody throw a skate at your son, call your kids niggas, all this kind of stuff, telling the apartment people on you. And then you go over there after she, uh, you throw, throw a skate at your kid. Enough is enough. You go over there. She shoot through the door before y'all can get face to face. What would you do? That could happen to anybody, black or white. Listen. Ill will. Like I said, she had it out for these people. Everything they did, it irritated her. Everything. Went over there, sneak this. Probably try to get him evicted. I guarantee you probably get, try to get him out of there. Always making complaints. Remember the guy put the to keep off the grass sign because he was tired of the stuff the landlord. Ill will. Don't like him. You know how it is. People be petty. They don't like you. Everything they you do, they report. When they don't get the results they do, they start doing ticky tack stuff. Chasing them with a, uh, what, what did she have in her hand? Uh, she was swinging an umbrella. What was it she was swinging? I can't remember what it was she was swinging. Swinging stuff at him. That's ill will. She's trying to hurt somebody. Now, let's get to this last one and I'm going to leave this alone. 
evil intent. She shot through the door and then made the 911 call and tried to make it like the girl was attacking her. Shooting through the door doesn't uh exit uh doesn't exhibit any of those traits. Oh, it don't? Okay. You know what that tells me, guys? And I want you to think. Think here. You know what it tells me? When she went in there and did that 911 call and act like she was scared and somebody, her life was in danger. When she went in that in interrogation room and she spoke to the lawyers and all of that stuff, she used her defense mechanism, tears, and she went back there. I didn't know. I was scared. She was so angry and belligerent. And there's nobody there to say that she was or was not. So they made it like she went over there irate, threatening her, all this stuff. So I shot through the door. She was trying to break in. You know that Karen bullshit they pulled? You know the Karen BS, y'all. We know it. Man, I'm telling you, this right here is some okie doke. It is. I, I mean, I, I can't believe this. One charge manslaughter. Didn't say what degree it was. One charge assault with a firearm. She had no malice, no ill intent, no spite. She didn't hate uh, AJ. She just was scared. She didn't even know she was at the door. She just thought it was a random person. So she shot like Barney Fife with her eyes closed and the gun was shaking. What would anybody do when they're scared? Come on, man. Come on, guys, leave me a comment. This news just came out a couple hours ago. I want to hear from you. Tell me what you think. They railroaded this family. Them little boys and that little girl and the rest of our family. That's not justice. This is not justice. And I'm just being honest. I don't try to get in all this black and white stuff. But sometimes when you see the numbers. And the words writing on the wall, writing on the wall. This right here, a whiteness got out of it. That's my opinion. You know, I'm gonna call it down the middle. She so went back there, played that grandma. I'm scared for my life. All I do is watch the news. It's a crazy world out there. Uh, so nowadays, you just say the N word and bother people, or in a mixed community, that's not considered a hate crime. And why they still locking people up when uh, white people do stuff to black people and all this other stuff and they say it's a hate crime. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Stock Market Steve with Dynamic Reason Channel. Take care.